Amazon just did something huge. They've officially launched a brand new operating system called Vega OS, and it's replacing Android on the latest Fire TV devices. Now that means new rules, new file formats, and a big shift in how Fire TVs actually work. So in this video, I'm breaking down what Vega OS is, how it's different from Fire OS, and what it means for your current Fire TV and what's changing for every new device moving forward. Let's start with the basics. Vega OS is Amazon's brand new in-house operating system that's designed to replace Android on select Fire TV devices. It's built on a Linux-based framework, not Android, which means it's completely separate from Google's ecosystem. Now, Amazon says that Vega OS is faster, lighter, and more secure. Because it's built from the ground up for streaming, it doesn't carry the extra weight of Android's background services or app layers. That means quicker boot times, smoother navigation, and potentially better long-term stability, even on low-cost hardware. So why would Amazon drop Android after all these years? Well, it really comes down to control. By building its own OS, Amazon can decide how updates work, how memory is used, and how tightly Alexa is integrated. It no longer depends on Google's Android open source project or app compatibility cycles. So basically, Vega OS gives Amazon the freedom to innovate on its own schedule without waiting for Android updates or limitations. And if that sounds familiar, that's because other big players have done the same thing. Roku built its own Roku OS years ago, and Samsung's TVs run on Tizen, their custom Linux-based system. Now, both moved away from Android to take full control of their software, app stores, and user experience. Now, Amazon's doing the same thing with Vega OS. Now, here's where things really change. Because Vega OS isn't Android, you can't sideload apps like you used to. The downloader app still exists in the App Store, but you can't use it to install APKs anymore. In fact, the setting to install from unknown sources is completely gone. Apps on Vega OS now use a new file format called VPKG, not the traditional Android APK. So that means all of your favorite sideloaded apps, things like Kodi or custom streaming tools, won't work on Vega OS devices. There are early reports that advanced users may still be able to sideload Vega compatible apps using developer tools or command line methods. However, these methods haven't been confirmed and are likely limited to developers. If you want to check out the new Fire TV Stick 4K Select, the first device running Vega OS, you'll find links in the description and pinned comment below. And if you want to see some budget-friendly streaming alternatives that still allow sideloading, make sure to check out my other video, and the link for that is in the description too. Here's the good news. If you already own a Fire TV Stick, Fire TV Cube, or any Android-based Fire TV model, you're completely safe. Your current devices will not be upgraded or converted to Vega OS. Amazon confirmed that all existing Fire TVs will stay on the Android-based Fire OS, and they'll continue to receive software updates and security patches just like before. So there's no risk of your current Fire Stick suddenly losing sideloading or app support. In fact, Amazon even said it plans to keep releasing new, higher-end Fire TV models that still run Fire OS. So Vega OS is only being used on their budget and entry-level streamers for now. So what does Vega OS actually mean for the future of Fire TV? Well, it signals a clear split. 
one lineup built around speed, simplicity and affordability, and another built for power users and flexibility. Vega OS will likely dominate Amazon's cheaper plug and play devices, sticks, select models and smaller TVs. Meanwhile, Fire OS, the Android-based version, will stick around for the premium Fire TV Cube and maybe the next generation of premium Fire TVs. The upside is that Vega OS could make budget streamers faster and longer lasting. The downside is clear for Vega OS, no side loading, no APK installs and full reliance on the Amazon App Store. It is a cleaner, more controlled experience, but also a more closed one. In short, Vega OS is a massive shift for Fire TV and it's here to stay. Amazon's clearly betting on simplicity, stability and full ecosystem control. And while that's great for performance and updates, it also means the Fire TV platform is moving closer to the model we see with Roku. Fast and reliable, but far less customizable. So whether that's a good thing or not really depends on the kind of user you are. What do you think about Amazon's new Vega OS? A smoother, faster future for Fire TV or a closed box that limits what you can do? Drop your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what side you're on. If you want to check out the new Fire TV Stick 4K Select, you'll find links in the description and pinned comment. And don't forget to follow me on X for daily tech updates. Check out my second channel, Tanda's Tech, and click the join button below this video to unlock the members only group chat, where you can ask me questions directly and join the community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.